Hello and welcome. Um, I wanted to make a smaller cell, which I've got in this container here, and do some more bubble tests so that I can compare it with uh, the results I got from this larger cell. Um, I've already done that, uh, ran it at the same group of amps as the other test, uh, and right now it's actually sitting on 20 amps. And I just wanted to show you... Um, Something that I found quite interesting. Uh, I'll just turn it on so you can see how it performs. As you can see, it's pretty dramatic. Uh, I've only ever seen a reaction that quick a couple of times on YouTube. Um, the reason for that is pretty basic. It's because it's such a small cell, and I've got such you know a large amount of amps going through it. It's just a much, much more dramatic reaction. Um, I'll turn that off again. I'll show you that again in a sec when the water clears. But in the meantime, I'll share these results with you. Okay, so what we're looking at here, this is the same stuff I showed you last time. These top marks are from the larger cell. And the interesting thing about that was the fact that once it got up to this um, 16 and a half amps, it actually looked like it started to perform better. Now these bottom lines, these bottom marks, are this smaller cell. And as you can see, it's close performing to the bigger cell, but it's, it's definitely not as good consistently right the way through. And then once it gets up to, sorry, once it gets up to... Um, these higher amps, it's actually dropping off. You can see, once you get up here, there's quite a big gap between the big cell and the small cell, and then it's actually starting to curve down once it goes up to 20 amps. So, somewhere around here is, you know, the best performance you can get. In fact, even between here and here, there's quite a, a little bit of a drop off. So yeah, um, I'll show you again one more time from the side. So the neutral plates are actually, as far as I can tell, producing gas as well. Obviously there's more coming off the, the um, plates that have a positive and negative connection. But it's basically, yeah, I'll turn it off and show you. It's basically two positive plates on the outside. A neutral in the uh, not a neutral a negative in the middle and um, two neutrals in between. It's exactly the same um, size and um, dimensions and whatnot as some of the others this size that I've seen. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Um, take out of it what you will. Um, but uh, at this point in time, I think. These larger cells are actually performing better. Uh, I think that comes down to a point I've made earlier in one of my videos a couple of months ago, which is that it seems to be that when you add more cells into um, the circuit, the amps don't seem to go up. So, for example, as much, you know. So, if, if, for example, if this I had this cell and another cell exactly the same size. If they were running 10 amps uh, on their own, if I put them into the tank, they'd be drawing about 18 amps. So, theoretically, the bigger you go, the um, the uh, the more hydrogen you can produce with less amps. The one thing with that, however, is what I've shown on this these bubble tests is basically that. There is a point, seems to be, at which uh, it produces better, depending on how many amps. So, um, up here, which is interesting. So, maybe we need to design our cells depending on how many amps we're planning on putting through it and getting that, you know, the right, the right size cell for the right size job. Anyway, bit of food for thought, and um, that's it. See you later.